हे गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पेडिग्री एनालिसिस एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो वी कैन एनालाइज द ट्रेट्स ऑफ अ फैमिली इज कॉल्ड पेडिग्री एनालिसिस इन द पेडिग्री एनालिसिस द इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ अ particular trait is represented in the family tree over generations so in a moment i'll show you how a family tree looks like so in human genetics pedigree study provides a strong tool which is utilized to trace the inheritance of a specific trait or abnormality or disease okay so actually mutation in a single gene causes genetic disorders different types of genetic disorders we have seen right so these disorders are transmitted to the offspring from their parents now the pattern of inheritance of such disorders can be traced in a family by the pedigree analysis such disorders may be dominant or recessive similarly the trait may be linked to the autosome or sex chromosome by pedigree analysis one can easily understand whether the trait in question is dominant or recessive and autosomal or sex chromosomal so we will see five different types of genetic diseases we will see autosomal dominant disease autosomal recessive disease x linked dominant disease x linked recessive disease and y linked disease so let's talk about them one by one first is autosomal dominant disease now in an autosomal dominant disease the mutated gene is a dominant gene it is located on one of the autosomes so we have 22 pairs of autosomes among those 22 pairs of autosomes you can find this type of mutation this type of gene okay so let's see the pedigree here right so here we can see that this is the affected man and this is the unaffected women and the affected man has one dominant mutation that is capital a so this capital a allele is mutated and this capital a allele is actually responsible for the disease so this person has disease and this type of disease is called autosomal dominant disease because it is found in one of the autosomes now this person mates with an unaffected women so this person has 50% chance of having an affected child so among four children they have two children who are affected and 50% chance they have to get an unaffected child so among four two children are affected and two are unaffected so 50% 50% probabilities are there to get an affected or an unaffected child so the example of this type of disease is myotonic dystrophy okay next we will see autosomal recessive disease so in an autosomal recessive disease the mutated gene is a recessive gene so it is located on one of the autosomes now to have an autosomal recessive disorder the child has to inherit one copy of a mutated allele from each parent let's say the pedigree here okay so here we have a carrier male and a carrier female so both of them are carriers that means both of them have one copy of mutated allele here this is small a here small a is the culprit since this is recessive mutation so one needs to get both recessive 
mutant alleles in order to be affected. Hence, you can see the result. Here, they have one unaffected child, two carrier children and one affected child. This poor child unfortunately received both mutated alleles from her parents. And you can see this type of uh, mutation occurs in sickle cell anemia. Okay. Next, we will see X-linked dominant disease. In an X-linked dominant disease, the mutated gene is a dominant gene and it is located on X chromosome. So, we will see the pedigree here. So, here the father is affected and the mother is unaffected. So, the mutation occurs here in the dominant way. So, this capital A is the mutated allele and small a is the normal allele. Now, this capital A is responsible for the disease. So, this couple will have all the female children affected and the male children are unaffected because male child actually receives his Y chromosome from his father and X chromosome from his mother. Since the mutated allele is in the X chromosome, the male children are safe here. And the female children, they get one X chromosome from mother and one X chromosome from father. So the father has only one X chromosome and that contains the mutated gene. So both of the female children are getting that affected X chromosome from their father. We will see another case here. In this case, the mother is affected. So the mutated allele is in the mother and father is normal here. Uh, in this case, sons and daughters both will have a chance of being affected depending on whether a dominant or recessive X chromosome is passed on. So you can see that here the male child is affected and in this case the male child is unaffected. Actually in this case the male child got the mutated allele from mother but in this case this male child got the normal allele from mother. And uh, here also one daughter is affected and other is not. Actually the same thing happens here. This female child received the mutated allele from the mother but fortunately this female child received the normal allele from mother and in both the cases these two children, these two female children received their other allele that is normal from father. And this type of mutation occurs in fragile X syndrome. Okay. Let's see the next disease that is X-linked recessive disease. So in an X-linked recessive disease, the mutated gene is a recessive gene and it is located on X chromosome. Okay. So we will see the pedigree here first. Okay. So this man is affected and this small a is the mutated allele and this small a is responsible for the disease but it should be there in recessive condition and this person married a normal female so the female is unaffected and what will happen this person with an X-linked recessive disease he will pass his X chromosome with the mutated gene to his daughters and all will be carriers of the disease. Since these two daughters received another copy of the normal gene from their mother. Okay and sons are unaffected since sons are getting Y chromosome from their father and normal X chromosome from their mother. 
let's see another case in this pedigree so here you can see that the woman is a carrier of this disease so she has one allele mutated and the other normal allele she has so she is the carrier and the father is unaffected has the normal capital a allele so what will happen here actually they will have 25% chance of having an affected son they will have a 25% chance of having an unaffected but carrier daughter they will have a 25% chance of having an unaffected son and they will have a 25% chance of having an unaffected daughter we will see one more case so here the male candidate is unaffected and the female candidate is affected both the alleles are mutated in this case so what will happen here so actually uh, there is 50% chance of having an affected son and 50% chance of having an unaffected but carrier daughter actually the male child is getting this mutated allele from mother and both the alleles of the mother are mutated so the male children will be affected and in case of female children what happens here actually they are receiving one normal copy from father that's why they are carriers but they are not diseased so this type of mutation you will see in color blindness next is y linked disease so a condition is considered y linked if the mutated gene is located on the y chromosome now because only males have a y chromosome in y linked inheritance a mutated allele can only be passed from father to son hence all fathers that are affected by y linked disorder will have affected sons but not affected daughters you will see this type of inheritance in hypertrichosis of the ears it is the condition where male candidates have hairy ears so here you can see the male candidate is affected his y chromosome contains the mutation and this gene is not present obviously in the x chromosome and we can see that this y chromosome is uh, transmitted to his sons so all the sons will be affected because all the sons are getting the mutated gene from the father and both the female children are unaffected because females don't receive any y chromosome so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture if you want to get the pdf notes of this topic please check the first pinned comment or the description box thank you